And we are back once again to Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are continuing part 3, chapter 4. Trying to win that Millennium for Iris in the Singoth competition. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the competition, but not entirely sure. So yeah, I think we only have two more cutscenes and then we're done with this chapter. So, let's just get straight to it. Don't want to waste any more time. Water. There we go. But yeah, no way I feel that this is going to be easy. Either this competition is going to be long, just like the capital, uh, like, talent show or sing-off. I don't remember what the name of the first competition was. But I feel it's going to be a lot longer than just, like, doing it at this one place. <laughs> because life for Kazuma and the others can never be that easy. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, I almost hit replay. For 16. And now we need a dark team. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm Sama. I really do like my Ainz card. One of the best crossover characters. And damn, Wiz hits hard, I swear. I'm guessing that's because I have her mostly duped up. Like, she's one of my oldest cards. She may have, like, three dupes in her. Maybe four. Kazuma. Hmm. Also wonder, like, who's gonna be the first one to drop out of the competition? Is it either gonna be uh, La Latina Goddess Explosion or Goddess La Latina Explosion, or is it gonna be Shelly's team? Because I feel like Shelly teams is supposed to win. That's what it feels like this is supposed to lead up to. These guys hit so hard. Ouchie. Ouchie doing so much damage. Imagine one day if these story enemies started hitting just like the. What's called? Like the Colosseum characters, where they actually have a chance of one-shotting your characters, or at least killing them in a few shots. Like, that would be crazy. And then you actually need some strategy to beat the enemies. Man, he actually survived all that damage. No worries. We'll finish them all off. No survivors. If we give them mercy, they will come back. Crystal prison. 
こんなものかパンパンパンパンこのスーパー水晶属性のスキルを持つメンバーが新しいストーリーが開催されましたよ Wait, I guess I miscounted. Maybe. Carai episode to Konosuba story wa Karato no Kizna of Kamel to Kaiho Sarena. Well, we will see. This looks like a portrait, so the girls are gonna be singing. I may have miscounted. It may be three cutscenes instead of just two. Some ore for this broken magic item. Part 5. Um, explosion, goddess, Lalatina, and friends. Thank you er, for that. Please exit the stage immediately. Like, you know, it's bad when someone says, Please exit the stage immediately. Like, that they would at least usually say, Thank you for the wonderful performance, and then not tell you to leave the stage because they know you would leave the stage regularly. But when they tell you, that means you're in trouble or you did terribly. But why? Because any more lightning will reduce everything and everyone here to ash. This isn't right. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. We were going to be showered in glory. So did they like come together as like a big team? Or were they two different teams? Also, I'm guessing Megamine used her explosion magic if she's on the ground. And why is she smiling? I'm guessing because, like, putting out the explosion felt good? I should save some energy for singing. The cold stares of the audience and judges are nigh unbearable. Oh. Oh my god, darkness. Even so, we made our mark. Today's performance will be immortalized for all the ta- Stop spouting nonsense! You almost blew up the arena with your explosion magic. Apologize to the judges, now! I tried to sing, but nothing came out. Aw, she had- Stage fright, which is cute. Like, uh, I like a little shy girl, so hearing that she got stage fright is kind of cute, but also pretty sad and embarrassing. You're far too hard on yourself. Thank you for trying. I knew it. It would take more than a ragtag crew of amateurs to win. Axel Hearts, it's all up to you. Having fun out there, everyone? Our performance today is more than just a catchy tune. Check out the dance moves CLO and I are bringing. And with that, cue the next song. Amazing! They're on a completely different level. Okay, uh, let's look at this. Okay, this one's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure this is one of their old songs. I don't remember if this is the first or second one. Maybe the game might have had a third one. But this one has no vocals. It's just instrumental version. But yeah, here's a... Uh... Iris looking out at the Axel Hearts, admiring. I'm guessing this is basically like her first time watching again, since she doesn't remember watching the Axel Hearts the first time. So she's being amazed again, like, by the show, since the Axel Hearts are really good. Well, they are professionals. This is far from their first show. To think that we've been privileged with the best seats in the house. Look at this crowd. Brother, they're ecstatic. The girls of Axel Hearts just might have the greatest job ever. Making people smile. 
And you're responsible for that happiness as well, brother. As their producer. Damn, she's really putting pressure on probably Kazuma and the girls. Nah, everything up there is thanks to the girls, not me. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. The contest is far from over. Enjoy the rest of the show. And don't forget how cute I was. Okay? Wow! I knew the Axel Hearts were the absolute best. Say, that song, they changed some of the lyrics, right? It sounded like a special version, just for today. The girls are on fire! Nice. The crowd's really fired up. How was that? We decided to change it up a little bit. It was spectacular. The audience went wild. I knew it! My cuteness had them absolutely transfixed. I hope I didn't set the bar too high for the next group. Damn, what an ego. But, I mean, maybe that ego is justified. I guess that means first place will go to either Axel Hearts or us then. Wait, what? I I thought they were disqualified with the goddess Lalatina and friends. I thought that was their team. Maybe not. Maybe goddess Lalatina... Uh, was was the team that just was asked to get off, but hopefully these guys are still in. There are delusions of grandeur, and then there's Mel. Oh, <laughs> no, so she's just delusional. Okay. Well, I think we can safely assume that night... Congrats on winning the Showtime sing-off. Wow, we don't even get to see the finals. It's just assume they won. We got to see the elimination of Goddess Lalatina explosion. And kind of, sort of, like Mel's group, but... Ah, man, that's, that's disappointing. I really wanted to see, like, the Axel Hearts go all the way to the end. But yeah, I guess it just wasn't a challenge for them at all. They just joined some competitions knowing that they're probably going to smoke those, like, other competitors. Axel Hearts won. Kind of a given, I guess. The new arrangement was amazing. <laughs> Naturally, Leah's songwriting is next level. Leah came up with most of the changes. We simply chimed in now and again. Then, it was just a matter of practice. You're giving me too much credit. If it had just been up to me, I'd still be at my desk staring at a blank page. So close! We were so close to victory! Aw, Mel's so sad. But she is delusional to think they were even close. They probably lost, like, I don't know, quarterfinals? Maybe semifinals if you want to be generous. They were quite upset after you used your lightning. Really? I'm more impressed that you still thought you had a chance after that. Yeah. Although, I thought that would have spiced up the performance. But I'm guessing she was striking in areas probably where people were. But enough about that. Are you sure you're willing to part with this millennium? Anything to regain Iris's memory. It's all yours. Thanks a bunch. Hear that, Shelly? I trust you can take it from... Shelly? 
contest. You lost the contest. Now, accept your due punishment. The producer growled. A sinister smirk dancing upon his lips. Oh my god. She's writing another smut fiction like at the dinner table or at the party table. Like, Jesus. I'm guessing she's writing an idol. Uh, idol slash dancer. Uh, fan fiction. <laughs> and of course, she's using Kazuma as producer role. As like the template of, I'm guessing, the boss that takes advantage of the dancers slash idols. Stop turning what we do into one of your novels. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry! Leave the magic item repairs to me. It should be ready within a few days. A few days? Yep. Hang tight. It won't be long now before your memory's back. Um... A few days later... It's finally time. Thanks for your patience. The fully repaired magic item is right over here. I swear, is Iris gonna break it because she doesn't want to return back to normal? The artifact won't malfunction, I trust. Don't worry. You guys put in a ton of effort, so I triple checked everything. It's in complete working order. Why wouldn't it be? No one comes this far just to fail. Indeed. I had no idea a single magic item would take us down such a widening path. In retrospect, it seems all too fast. Also, I'm pretty sure it's a typo or forgotten word, but I'm pretty sure Darkness is supposed to say, I'd had no idea that a single magic item would take us down such a winding path. Or, or, or maybe that's just how they talk back then. Maybe they're trying to do something with her speech patterns where she's kind of talking uh, slightly old English or they just forgot something. I'm just pretty sure it's supposed to I had no idea instead of I no idea. In retrospect, it seems all too fast. Alright, well. I was thinking the very same thing. Our adventuring today had ended it all in an instant. Once we activate this item, all of my memories will return. As will my many duties as a princess. Something wrong, Iris? Oh, no. Not at all, brother. I'm fully aware of what I must do. I was merely preoccupied with fond memories of our travels and this bittersweet end. But Claire and Rain worked tirelessly for me at the capital. Likewise, I must serve the subjects of my kingdom. Miss Shelley, please, ready the magic item, if you will. As you wish, princess. I'll activate it now. Please stand still. Understood. Um, brother, I have one final request before going through with this. And what would that be? My nerves are somewhat strained. Would you hold my hand? Oh man, they're holding hands. How lewd! But now nah, this is actually pretty cute. Uh, she she depends on Kazuma, and Kazuma is happy to help. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Remember the time we met at the castle? I could hold you close if you want. Just like, oh my God, why is he gonna make it sound so bad? Please, no more golems! No! Let her get back her memories! Hmm? 
a voice, but who's? Target acquired. Neutralizing. Neutralizing. Those lady golems. There were more? Brother. Master! Yee! They're after me again! Oh, and I was just about to make a precious memory. Don't you dare hurt my brother, you fiends! Man, I swear, we can't ever just be done with this real quick. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, this is the last cutscene. Alright, so what do we need? We need dark and we need uh, earth. Hold on. I could have sworn I made one. Oh, here. I made this team. I guess let's go with this. Boom, boom, boom. Like she has an AoE attack. I don't understand why she doesn't do the AoE attack first. Or no, wait. Is that her ult? That is the AoE attack. Ah, oh, damn it. You need to use rock against her. Bumba! Okay, good. She stuns. We're close to finishing her. She's almost defeated, team. Yeah. Sayonara. Yep. We good. Alright. Well, the story is complete for now again. Right. Some ore for this broken magic item. Part 6. Once more on the rampage, the Lady Golems were lured out of the lab by our heroes and led into a barren field. Is it just me, or are they more unruly than ever? And why am I the sole subject of their attention? I can't say, but they seem to have gone berserk. And if that wasn't enough, there's a horde of them. Help! Brother! Binds! Wow, I didn't know that she had that skill too. I guess it, that skill is just so common. Like, in this world. Whoa! Shelly used bind? Okay, so even they're surprised that she has bind. Thanks to the one on... You guys found while clearing dungeons. I was keeping it for research. I'm glad I had it. Okay, so it means I'm guessing the magic wasn't from her. It was probably from one of the magic items. So that particular magic item can probably use a bunch of spells. Or maybe specifically it can only use bind. Which is kind of dumb. To have like a magic item only be able to use one type of spell. I mean, could be useful in create water or create fire because that then you could use those like normally for other stuff i don't know cooking or maybe if you're out in a desert then you have infinite water or infinite fire to stay warm if you ever go to a snowy area ah! 
There's another wave incoming! Kazuma, what do we do? Must I solve every problem around here? Ugh, we have no choice. Shelly, can you bind any more of those things? Maybe, a few. This item doesn't have many charges left. That's fine. We only need to slow them down. Ready? Bind! Bind! The Golem Horde is losing speed! Good. Keep them up, Shelly. Aqua, cast blessing and protection on me, if you would. Oh, is he gonna die again? It sounds like he's wanting as much protection as he can. And he's probably gonna be the bait. And so Megamine's gonna explode all of them while near Kazuma. Consider it done. Blessing. Protection. Now, enhance Darkness's strength. Huh? What exactly are you scheming? Just do it already! What's the deal, Kazuma? Undressing me with your gaze? Hey, get your head in the game and hurl me as far as you can. I'm the one they're after. I see. Unlike the last time, you're able to bait those golems in any direction you want. Now you're getting it. Megamine, when I give the signal, say no more. I'm cooking one up right now. Darkness darker than dark. Entwine thyself with my crimson. Kazuma, I'm fresh out of binds. I hear you. Darkness, you're up. On it. Wait! Whoa! Jeez, his scream. But yeah, I wonder where she threw him. It looks straight up, but I mean, probably in some direction. Imagine if she threw him into one of those mountains. It's like... What good's that gonna do? Throwing him straight into it. Wow. She flung him sky high. Target spotted. Setting course for crash point. Okay, I wanted to... Wait to listen to that. You can actually hear his voice as he gets closer to the ground, which is interesting. Now, Megamine, get him before I hit the ground! Here goes! Explosion! I'm surprised that Iris didn't do anything in this. Shelly was holding them back. Aqua, I'm pretty sure, was complaining, but at least she gave, like, the blessings. Darkness, I'm guessing, wasn't holding them back either, since she had to be right by to throw Kazuma. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Iris was the only one not doing anything. Excellent job! Megamine! Brother! Well, it seems that I am indebted to you yet again for saving my laboratory. All in a day's work. Now, we can hurry and use the magic item that we just fought so hard to protect. Why'd he say that like a question? Or is this wrong because it didn't sound like a question when he said it. It's just the text slash subtitles say it like it's a question. Hi. Sure thing. Princess, if you will, stand right there within the item's range of effects. I understand. 
Brother, I thoroughly enjoyed our adventures. Please take me on another someday. You got it. But let's try for something a little milder than life-threatening ordeals that we've just gone through. <laughs> Perhaps that would be prudent. Activating the magic item. Ah. Wow. Check out that light. Enveloping the princess. Spellbinding. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is the artifact's power? Incredible. Well, Iris, how do you feel? Not bad. I hope. No, I'm quite alright. Oh, the light is fading. Huh? Oh my god, please! No! Don't! Don't, please! Please don't tell me that the magic item broke or it didn't work. I hope. Please, no! Shelly, is the process over? It shouldn't be. The more memory has been lost, the more time it should take. I expect it to last much longer. Put simply, it's not working as planned. Do you remember anything, Iris? Let me see. I'm afraid I don't. No. So, the item didn't work? No! That's impossible! Just a moment. My father's notes should contain detailed instructions. Why don't we, you know, smack her in the head? Humans are built a lot simpler than you think. No and no. Your habit of taking shortcuts is the reason we landed in so many preposterous predicaments. Oh no! It can't be! Oh my god, she didn't read the instructions, and so now we screwed it up. It was probably like, okay, only the person who has lost memories should be using this item. If anyone is within 5 to 10 feet of them, the item will not work and you blew your chance. Or like, hold the item like this and then that's how it works. And Shelly was holding it wrong. I swear, if it's something like that. Have you learned something, Miss Shelly? Yes. Indeed. My sincerest apologies for it seems I overlooked a crucial detail. Aw, she's crying. Oh, please tell us what it is. I won't get mad. Promise. According to my father's records, the device is only effective within 10 days of initial memory loss. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to remember exactly how many days it was between when Iris lost her memories to what she did when she went to Axel and then they went straight to Shelley's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way they could have made it in time. Because I'm pretty sure it's like it takes a day or two to get from the capital to Axel. They spent a day in Axel, like preparing for their trip to the Crimson Demon Village, which I think was another day or two. And then they took like another day or two to get to Shelley's. And so it means possibly that they could have gotten her memories then if Shelley just gave it up right away. But they need a few days to make that deal with all the money ready uh, for her to, like, hand over the item. And so past that time, that's when the item was no longer good. That's kind of, like, a hard time to catch. 
or I guess make this deal. So I don't know if you can blame Shelly 100% because this is a valuable magic item. No one's giving it for free. It's just the only problem is that Shelly tries to be their friend or became their friend over this journey and now kind of has to suffer the consequences of being such a good friend that kind of helps sabotage the entire journey in itself. 10 days? How could you overlook something so essential? Eek! You promised not to get mad at me. I'm sorry. My dad has terrible handwriting. It's so hard to read. Hmm. I can't blame her. These look more like child's doodles than a research notes. But yeah, I can't imagine a researcher has chicken scratch for handwriting. Like, you'd think he went to some college or something, studied, and probably got some good handwriting from being in school so often, but I guess not. <sighs> Sigh. So, since it's been a month since Iris lost her memory, the item has no effect on her. Yep, and now it's a wasted item, and she doesn't even get her competition with the princess. So you Correct. And to top it off, this magic item is one use only. Is that right, too? I am so sorry! So, so very sorry! Well... What happens now? Is Iris just gonna stay like this forever now? Yep, she just kinda got to learn back her princess duties. I'll search high and low for another solution. Just great. No feeling down never helped anyone get past trouble. Time for some serious brainstorming. Honestly though, I'm pretty much out of ideas over here. I mean, how else can one restore lost memories? Oh, brother. Everyone. This is a conundrum. What are we to do? While Kazuma and friends lamented their situation, some very specific rooms were rumbling ominously. Reboot complete. Primary directive reset. Master, your orders please. Pat, Pat. We done it, Charlie. And we owe it all to that peculiar golem you found. Oh my god! No! They're back! I thought we were done with them! I thought they got killed twice, but now they're revived again. Oh, uh, man. I don't miss these guys at all. But I guess they found the Golem Queen? Uh, I forgot when did they destroy the Golem Queen or the specific Golem they're talking about. But now I guess they have an army of Golems. That work under them. And so now we're gonna not stop seeing golems. <laughs> Pan, you're far too kind, my lord. You were the one who subdued the rampaging drone and pushed its reset button. What are your orders? We must have our revenge for being beaten twice, and more importantly, being banned from seeing the Axel Hearts. Well, these guys were always banned from seeing the Axel Hearts, because no one ever wants to see ogres, or... What, was it ogres? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was ogres, that they are. Indeed, that vile adventure, Kazuma Sato must be punished directive required standing by little did kazuma and his friends know that their troubles had only just begun 
このスボメインストーリーはメインクエストを進めると解放されます。Wow, what a cliffhanger to leave it on. I am infuriated though. Just because, like, I just want Charlie and Daniel to be done already. Like, I want a new big bad. Like, I'm happy that they keep introducing friendly characters as, like, the side cast or minor cast, whatever you want to call it, non original canon characters are. Like, that part's cool, but please give us new enemies with this. Like, I. I'm really giving up hope and being like, okay, Daniel and Charlie are gonna be the only villains for the entirety of this game. And that's gonna suck. Like, if we have to ruin their plans like another three, four times. Like, I'm trying to think about somebody that loses all the time in a TV show and that comes back. Some people like Team Rocket. And man, I don't want to see a Team Rocket in this game. I just want my villain to be one and done. Or at least like two and done. Like three and done is too much. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Konosuba Fantastic Days. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, my Rumble, my Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to like and comment on everything, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, whether it's my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!